All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to tonight's stream. Uh, this is going to be a more quiet one for me. Um, I hope you're okay with that. We're going to be doing a quieter, more chill stream tonight. That's what I need right now. Um, but I hope you're all having a good Friday. Good Friday night. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to party. But hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We're going to be doing some Tamodachi Life, followed up by some Team Fortress 2. I apologize for being late tonight, but these things happen. These things happen. That's where life takes you sometimes. But I will be using the original stream save file, no Smash Island tonight. Um, because I kind of realized it's not a, it's kind of like a dead end bit. Like, I already saw everything it had to offer. It was like, whoa, every Smash character is here. And that's like the whole bit. It says such rude words about TF2 also. Such rude words about the Scout after all he's done for us. But let's get started. Oh, is OBS going to crash? Oh. Nope, no it didn't. That was scary. Everything everything froze for a second. My life was in slow-mo for a second. But here it is. Tamadachi life. I like money. I like getting money. Man, it's just being slow. What the hell's going on? Web page is slowing down your browser. What's doing that? Close them all then. What the hell? Something wonky is going on. Not a money fan? Come on. Come on now. Ooh. Probably gonna have to... Okay, Firefox is good now. Firefox is okay. Let's get the night market. Plenty of... Plenty of good things happen when you go to the night market. <laughs> There's our friend Atticus. Chinese dress. Yakitori. And everyone's favorite, the flashlight. Don't know what I'd do without a flashlight. Can I sell that? How much is that worth? That's worth $5. I spent $50 to get a $5 item. And the Yakitori can't be that much. So it all comes down to how much the Chinese dress is worth. Um... Okay, $69. It's not terrible. Not terrible, not fantastic, but I'll take it. You should buy all of these. I'm on a spending spree. Buy them all. Have a nice day. Thank you. I think I have to change the name of the island too, because I think the name of the island is still Gerby Island. That's not that's not my deal anymore. Um, yeah, sure. Yemfer. Yemfer. That works for me. 
Yeah, it lets me be rude. It just tell like, Tamodachi life just, like, kind of, like, slaps your hand a bit and is like, Hey, you can't send that to other people. Are you okay with that? But you can do whatever you want otherwise. But, like, a dude like Dick knows he's never leaving the island. He's never leaving. He can't. Dick knows knows he's stuck here. Yeah, I'm a big Applesauce fan. You know me and Applesauce. I talk about it every stream. I'm, a, I'm in the applesauce fandom. I'm really tired of all the toxicity. Yeah, buy, buy everything. Oh, you know we gotta give that to Justin. Where is Justin at? Multi-fandom. Ooh, a little spicy. Here, spicy. I'm spicy. Here's Justin. Wow, is it really you? I can't believe you're here. It's been so long. I'm I'm sorry, Justin. I'll I'll visit more often. I still to trip on the stairs another day. It was hilarious. Wow. Here's his new hat. What? Not canon. Not canon at all. Look away. See, this is perfect. I don't understand. Oh, Callie has an inquiry. I can't believe it's you, Northern Purple It's been forever. Yeah, I'm here. I like the new clothes that are painted on it. <laughs> wear it anyways. He has no choice in the matter. Um, Callie of Squid Sister, you can wear this. Callie appreciates me. Someone around here cares. What's going, what's going on? I've only solved 100 problems on this island. I did like seven streams of this island. This is only my 100th problem solved. What the hell am I doing in these streams? Yeah, I gotta solve more. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Make some problems instead. I don't know how much drama I can really stir up. I mean, I can give them hats they hate. Hi, King Mario. Hello. Oh, King Mario wants a new clothes. Well, you're like an orb. You're just like an orb. You don't have to miss King Mario. He's right here. Kidomatic. Well, he can be with you if you play Pokemon Snakewood. So, hi, Robin. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> this is this is the emote. If you've seen the emote, hold on. That's King Mario. 
The resemblance is uncanny. I mean, this is the best I could do. The eyes are wider apart. But also, like, there would be no way for me to, like, move the nose and the mouth and stuff. They would just be there. And that didn't seem as fitting. Hi, Scout. Scout TF2. The scout. What should I say when I feel down? Um, what should you say when you feel down? Easy. Actually, no. It's the thing, he says... When Scout TF2 is upset in the game, he goes, he goes like this. He doesn't say street, but he does go stupid, stupid, stupid. I wonder what I'll be doing ten years from now. I get something awesome. What year is it? Oh, game sounds kind of low. I literally have my desktop audio at like five decibels higher. OBS is a confusing program. All right, how's that? Hi, Battling. Where have you been, Morgan's look alive? I can't believe it's you. You is me. I'm in a bind. I could really use $85 in cash, right now. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money you just want me to give you. I'm a frugal yeah, spender. You're the best. I won't forget this. Wow. Thank you so much. You're my new favorite person ever. If I notice something is amiss, I can't let it go until it's been fixed. Well, she wanted to buy the Celeste Collector's Edition. She's a couple years too late. That was, like, January 2019. That ship has sailed. you here oh there was just like a okay i know why you're here wow this is a swap note girl I nikki uh i so added long. her to the island because i had like a phase where i was like obsessed with researching like this obscure like japanese only like travel quiz video game that had her as the star and I found this one Let's Play by this one dude of that travel quiz game. And it was, like, it was obviously like a Japanese guy, uh, someone in Japan, um, Here, I want you who was me. doing the Let's Play. And, like, the Let's Play was so universally hated over there. Like, the, the like-to-dislike ratio was insane. Pretty much all of the videos he had of that quiz game, they all were, like, straight down the line, all dislikes on those videos. Because he sucked so bad at the quiz. Which is really funny to me. As someone who can't speak Japanese, just looking in and being like, wow... I can't imagine how bad this guy is fucking up that he's, like, incurring everyone's wrath. I'm Eugene. 
I love being creative and using my imagination. Did I never talk to Eugene the Atheist? I'd like some new clothes. Oh man, if I had like a fucking stupid fucking suit for you. You guys have seen the Eugene the Atheist image, right? You could probably find it on like Google. Oh, this is close enough, something. But like Eugene the Atheist is like one of the funniest images online to me. It's like one of those old like Reddit atheist posts. And the speech was, this is it. The war on feeble-minded religious human cattle begins today. This war will not be fought with guns, bayonets, or Bibles, but with debate, class, and most importantly, intelligence. My name is Eugene and I'm an atheist. Enter my world. I have had that speech memorized pretty much since the first time I saw this image. I will never forget it. It's just not going to happen. I do need to give him a dog, too. There's a dog in that image. I feel like someone is watching me right now. I'm so freaked out. We are live. Okay, yeah, Sebastian sent the link in chat. It's Ibris, our friend Ibris. I can't believe it's you, Morgan's look alike. It's Who does Ibris around. want to be friends with? I want to be friends with Jen. Ooh. What this is just I like isolating into my you? actual friend group. Thanks. We're definitely gonna have to add some me's right tonight. Now. But like you guys are gonna have to help me help figure out what like fr what like me's to add. I don't know why Ibaris is friends with Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh, Ibaris didn't make friends with Jen. We're not quite friends yet. Not yet, anyways. I'm still haunted by the horror movie I saw on TV last week. So sad. Ibris fa fa faces rejection. Oh, let's play a game. <laughs> it's a lot. It's Canadian. It's Jen. It's a hard candy. It's Canadian. Good job. Hmm. Look at that. It's me. It's a Salisbury steak. Fuck. It's a hard candy. Good job. Look at that. It's me. It's a Salisbury steak. What? I'm an it's idiot. It's a lucky cat. I'm an idiot. Look at that. It's me. I... <laughs> I'm so bad at games like this. I say hi, Noel. Oh, Welcome. Yeah. Better luck next time. I'm not sure if I should be adding people outside of my friend group. That'd probably be a bit awkward. We're a big fan of gamers here. I don't remember why I added Tony Zaret. I'll play your game, Atticus. Hold on. One play, three please. If you guys don't know Tony Zaret and Rocco Bodie, I assume everyone in my audience would be familiar with Tony Zaret. But in case you don't know, um, Tony Zaret is like a guy who makes like I, like these very like I don't know how to describe it like very ironic kind of videos like. Yeah, you're very familiar. I, look, if you're not familiar with Tony Zaret, let me just say, look up if MatPat supports the death penalty game theory. Mm 
That's all I'm saying. I add, add look up Tony Zaret if Matt Pat game theory supports the death penalty. What do you think it is? Um Gold earrings. Gold earrings. And finally, the last bit slide. What do you think it is? Right. Yeah. I'm so smart. I'm so smart at this game. I won Atticus's game. What's happening? Hi, Justin. I'd like some new clothes. Something warm would be great. Something warm? Winter's about to end, buddy. Um... I could add a Grinch me. I mean, like, I want to keep this island to, like, jokes from the stream. Grinch is a joke from the stream. Grinch is there. I would just have to figure out how... I would like add in the Grinch. Also, I'm I I don't know. I'm fine with like not really caring about the personalities. I mean, we're just missing the top right one, and that's it. Yeah, I could edit your hair, Ibris. You're gonna have to tell me what hair you want, though. Welcome. Ooh. Oh, we have to buy wizard, right? No fucking way we don't buy wizard right now. Come back soon. Ooh, it's the fucking wizard. Hello, and oh, you're Sven. Of me news. These days, people are moving away from reading books, but we found one islander who just loves reading. Reggie is a real bookworm, and was reading books before- <laughs> You know Reggie books. mentioned reading he books. He's a big fan. He spends every in a book, while on the toilet or even in the shower. He has lost count of how many books he has read so far, but he believes it is over three million. With practically no more books- <laughs> Reggie Mint stands books? Past. Stands books. Puking emoji. Um, I wasn't listening. Thanks for watching. Bye. For your seven o'clock me news, this is Skin Mitsama, signing off. Oh man, I haven't talked to Pearl, Doom Guy, Finn, Maya Fey, Mario, and Spooky. Who's the most popular? I am. Man, why Small Salad got like the George Costanza fade going on? Why is Small Salad, like, the fourth most popular on the island? Who the hell is, like, making Buddy Buddy with Small Salad? And here's all the people with no friends. All people who refuse to talk to other people. I forgot So is on the island. How could you forget about Small Salad? He's a son of a bitch. I could never forget about Small Salad. Dr. Phil and Robin are having a miserable time. I tried my best with the spooky me. Spooky Jump Scare Mansion was a really fun stream. <laughs> oh, poor Joey. Our poor friend Joey. He's got minus swag going on. Did Joey get rejected like three times?
I mean, I can't think of any other reason Joey would be all the way down there. Well, someone get, someone get Joey in here and he can tell us all about it. What the fuck? This is news to me. Big beef in me. <laughs> now me and Tony Zaret. It's not happening. Yeah, Dementio's here. I don't know why Dementio is here, because I haven't even played Super Paper Mario on stream. I should probably go over what Miis I have again, so we can all recall. Um, Atticus, my friend Atticus, Audio, my friend Audio. Uh, Badalyn from Celeste. Baldi Basic from Baldi's Basics. Uh, Bayonetta from the Bayonetta series. Big Beef, who's just like a guy I made up. Big Beef is a guy I make on every single Tomodachi game I do. Big Beef comes from just like me, like fucking with the Me Maker and trying to make the biggest possible me. Just make all the biggest possible features. <laughs> yeah, Dementia's like Joker of Mario games. Bort, who was a Fire Emblem Awakening avatar of mine back when I was into that. And then I just kept, like, kept adding him to my Tomodachi games because I think it's, f like, Bort's whole deal is that he has no personality. He's, like, the most dry man in the world. Callie from the Squid Sisters. Krungus, who's just, like, a big, buff, nice guy. He's also an Awakening avatar I had. Dick knows, who's a guy who's just, like, this guy's just the villain of the island. He's one of the villains of the island. He exists here to make everyone else miserable. Dementio, who I guess is also just here to cause problems. I don't know why he's 61, though. I don't know why Dementio is that old. Doom guy from Doom. I don't know why Doom Guy is 54. Some of these ages are fucked up. Uh, I'm gonna have to change up the star. Eugene the Atheist from the Eugene the Atheist image. Finn. I do need to talk to Doom Guy more. Flushed emoji, which is one of the me's I made during my me channel stream from like 2019. Real excited about flushed emoji. Garfield, because I just think Garfield, uh, like, actually, there's a good reason to have Garfield now. Because of the Garfield intro. I actually have a reason for Garfield being on this island now. Hat Kid from A Hat in Time. Iberus, my friend Iberus. Jen. Scout TF2. Joey, my friend Joey. Justin Dance from the Just Dance Corporation. Huh. King Mario from Pokemon Snakewood. Madeline from Celeste. Marie from the Squid Sisters. Marina from Off the Hook. Mario from the Super Mario franchise. Maya Fey from Ace Attorney. Miss Pauling. Me. It's me. Super Mario! I should say hi to everyone again. I'm getting I'm getting some of my energy back. I started the I started that st this stream. Um very low energy, but I'm I'm getting some of my energy back. Uh Nikki from Swap Note. Pearl from Off the Hook. Dr. Phil, you know him. Do you love him? That's up to your discretion. Reggie Minch. Robin, my friend Robin. Small Salad, who also exists just to be like a fucking villain. Small Salad sucks. This guy sucks. So, from your turn to die. 
Spooky from Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Tony Zaret from YouTube. And Unboxo Man. Yeah, Atticus. Atticus is a villain, but an occurrency I accept. Small Salad and Dick Nose? The nuh uh. Small Salad and Dick Nose make everything worse. Like, actively make things worse. Also, no, King Mario and Flushed Emoji aren't a couple. I think we wanted to push for that. I don't really know much about this. But I don't character. think they're they're not a couple right now. Angel? It would be very funny if Flushed Emoji and yeah, King Mario got together though. Meeting people is pretty fun. It can get pretty frustrating. That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> Big beef. I love this guy. Big beef is like I don't remember if I did. It's been so long. It's been so long. I'd like a new hat. I could not answer that definitively. Oh, you know what we have to give Big Beef. You know we have to give him the Pompadour. <laughs> yeah, Small Salad, Dick Nose, and Reggie Minch are, like, going to take over the island, I think. Yeah, you want to go on? You want to go on about how what fucking Big Beef looks like? You want to go on? No, tell us. Tell us. I, I'm curious. I want to know. What does Big Beef look like? Yeah, it's like you can grow relationships in Metopia, but I don't think there's like any strict dating. Big Beef is strong. He's strong and he's your friend. We always step the same way. Hi, Justin. What's your problem, Justin? It better not be that you want a different hat. Justin. <laughs> oh, Justin, you know exactly what to do to make someone happy. I'm so glad that Justin danced just for us. What should I say when I feel down? Oh god, you know who we have to make in this in, on this island? We have to make Swagger 2, but the problem is Swagger 2 doesn't have like a human form that we're aware of. Actually, wait, no, that's not true. That's not true. Swagger 2 made a tweet. That was like a fake face reveal. Just can't dance. Oh my god. Fucking horny Mike from Counting Cars, his Discord icon. We could we could just make Swagger 2's face claim. Fucking horny Mike from Counting Cars. For the record, I don't know why Swagger 2's icon is horny Mike from Counting Cars. Like, I would have to ask him. I do think it's funny that this guy's name is Horny Mike, but it's not, like, what you would expect. Like, you hear that word, and you're like, oh. But, like, the, 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 the joke of Horny Mike is that it's like, oh, he wears horns. <laughs> I don't know, like, that's such an unfortunate name for a guy. You can you can have a drumstick while I'm here. I will not. I will not figure that out about Horny Mike. Dancing, dancing. We have to give it to him. Since you're already here, let's play a game. Oh. Yeah, I'll play a game with you, Justin. 
Here's your first pixel item. What do you think it is? Acorn. The correct answer is... I'm too smart for you. Acorn. Next up, your second pixel item. What do you think it is? Cheese. The correct answer is... This is fucking child's place. And finally, the last pixel item. Not child's place, child's play. What do you think it is? Ruined meal. The correct answer is... You fucked it up, meal. Justin. <laughs> also, I really like that, Noel. I just saw some daffodil. It must be spring. Finally. I need to find the Swagger Two Face reveal tweet. By the way, if you guys don't know Swagger Two, like this is the best account on Twitter. Wait, what did Swagger Two post? Sawyer so called me out for gnoming him. How could he do that? I'm sorry for- like, now I have to apologize on stream. I'm sorry for gnoming Swagger too. I was just- I was just trying to see if the gnome would work because I wanted to gnome Jen. Yeah, this is the Swagger 2 face reveal tweet. <laughs> this is the fucking picture of John Tron with an H from Super Mario Sunshine. Here's Swagger too. This is the real. This is this is apparently his face reveal. I mean, we could. Ju I could just like spend a stream going through. Swagger 2's profile. Like, the fucking, like, McDonald's is PD resident banner. Such an inspired touch. So inspired. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite recent Swagger 2 tweets. <laughs> How do I get out of Resident Evil Village? I'm being chased by the giant vampire lady and I'm so freaking scared. There's, like, one specific... Yeah, don't worry about this. That's not anything. That's my capture card. I gave it that icon because I thought it'd be funny. What's, well, like, the sleeper hit of all Swagger 2 tweets? There, there was, like, one Swagger 2 tweet that I remember seeing. And I thought, like, this is the most genius tweet he's ever made and nobody gave a shit. I could just go through Swagger 2's Twitter all day, but also, like, I'm getting getting to the bottom of his tweets. I wouldn't say this is a sleeper hit, but this is a good one. Everyone say thank you, Swagger 2. There was one Swagger 2 tweet I remember seeing that I was like, this is fantastic. Oh shit, that's... I don't know why that's even still there. Thank you, Swagger 2, for your service. Oh, I want a friend. God. I can't believe it's you, my little light. It's been forever. Hi. I want to be friends with Jen. Ooh. What should I talk about to get along with him? 
Um. I usually just, I just I say funny now. things at Jen, and then they think it's hilarious, and that's how that's how the the world that's how the world works. I'm funny. Jen thinks I'm funny. There we go. We are friends now, thanks to you. No, wait, I'm fucking dating Reggie Minch. What the fuck? Why am I dating Reggie Minch? How do I back out of that? We're not even getting... We're only getting along okay. How do I get out of here? Everyone's fucking key smashing. I don't want to be in a relationship with Reggie Minch. That's like worst case scenario. Being in a relationship with Reggie Minch is like fucking like career suicide. My me has apparently. Hi, spooky. I enjoy making cards and putting them in Hi, Spooky from Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Would you like to see a funny face I've been working on? Well, who knows if they're gonna even propose because apparently we're not even gonna. <laughs> That's a pretty funny face. That's a pretty funny face. I've gotta think of even more funny faces to show you. I like that. But, no, but, uh, getting back on topic, like, who knows if either of them are even gonna fucking propose? Cause, like... You know. We're not even getting along that well, apparently. It was a very good funny face, I gotta say. <laughs> Relationship limbo. It's best to tackle things as they come. Just delete Reggie Minch? Nah, I don't- I, I, I can't just, like, delete Reggie Minch. How's it going? There are a lot of things I'll do. I don't think I can just kill Reggie Minch like that. For 21 bucks? Wait, like, you'll donate 21 bucks if I kill off Reggie Minch? What should I talk about to get along with him? All up. No? Ugh. Oh, then no. I thought like someone was gonna be paying me 21 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's the assassin fee. I mean, he's a, he's a part of the company. He's the, he's, he's who's gonna follow up Doug Bowser at Nintendo. When Doug Bowser steps down, Reggie fils son, Reggie Minch, is gonna step up. Um. <laughs> oh god, the fucking like no more heroes like limited run games pre-orders are going up today and I really want them but also I don't know like ugh. I don't want to spend money. Oh my god, you're right. Um King Mario, like, deep thoughts. Be deep with King Mario. I don't know if Scout from TF2 has any deep thoughts, though. I don't know if Scout from TF2 is capable of deep thoughts. I guess he is. Because it went great. It worked. We are friends now thanks to you. Scout leveled up also. <laughs> yeah, he definitely, like, bluffed the hell out of that. I have to give him a baseball bat. He's Scout. Literally, this is his character. I have to give him the baseball bat so he can do Here, funny bonk. I want you to have this. <laughs> 
it's always weird when I have to introduce Inmedio to someone. You became friends a minute ago. <laughs> I've known King Madio for a minute now, but it's really weird when I have to talk to other people about him. Oh, there's a guy's night going on. Shannon Dementio. So, if you could buy a mutant mug, you totally would, right? That <laughs> would be so awesome. I want to start working out more often. Being made of steel would be awesome. Besides, the lady plus buff guy. It's true. I want to be the best singer in the world. I'm not even, like, attracted to men, but, like, buff guys are great. They're, like, the friendliest dudes in the world. I could sure go for something tasty right about now. You're right, also. Food is the best. We should get some. I wish my chin was wider. <laughs> what are you talking about? You have the chin of a Greek god. <laughs> Dementio chin of a Greek god. Words that will never be uttered again outside of that. It's just Dementio and Jen again. <laughs> oh, it's Iberus and Dr. Phil. Nobody in the world loves nuts as much as I do. I'm not exaggerating. That might be true, actually. Iberus believes you, Dr. Phil. I read in a highly respected magazine that olives extract is good for your hair. <laughs> the guys love their mugs. I read that too. Maybe we should try Also, it. hi, Joey. Welcome. Did you know the girls get together to chat here too? Dr. Phil doesn't give a shit. Have you heard what they're saying about the ticker? You think you know a person. What are, what are they saying about Atticus? I want to start working out more often. Maybe I'll join you. The old guns could use some upgrading. Yeah, Joey, you're one of you're one of the uh you're one of the islanders. You're also having one hell of a time. Unboxo man yes, and small salad. To. Oh my god, you should! But wait, small salad shouldn't be around Big Beef. I feel like small salad is a bad influence on Big Beef. Big Beef is like such a nice guy, I think he would be like too easily corruptible. Like his good intentions could be twisted. Rumor has it that Tony Zarek recently bought a pirate ship. That's true. I believe it. Yeah, Tom Tomodachi Life assigned you no bitches at birth. I don't know. I'd have to see what, like, girls you're friends with on the island. A boxo man will not answer that question for you, small salad. I think Unboxo Man is getting sick of small salad. Oh, Justin Dance and Reggie Minch. This will be the last conversation I look into. I can't say it though, or it won't be a secret anymore. Oh, come on. I wish my chin was wider. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I smelled something super yummy when I walked by Spooky's apartment yesterday. Let's sneak in and eat it all ourselves. What the fuck? It's too hard to get up in the morning. I always hit snooze, and then I'm late. Have you heard what they're saying about Bork? You think you know a person. A scandal? Ooh, tell me, tell me. I feel I'd have some of the spooky of brew. Today. Are you in or are you out? This day just keeps getting better. 
I feel like Justin Dance is only friends with Reggie Minch because Reggie Minch has a lot of money. That is so expected. Why is, it, why is everyone talking about Tony Zaret getting a pirate ship? Why is that? Why is that the conversation that's reoccurring? For me, it would be swimming in a pool of swimming certificates. Everyone is so dedicated to talking about Tony Zaret and his pirate ship. Get up in the morning. I always hit snooze, and then I'm late. It's gotta be right. Yeah, just Justin Dance just wants to keep funding the Just Dance series. Oh, I want to see Garfield's dream. Where was Garfield? Here's Garfield. It says unnatural. They didn't teach me this on Garfield and Friends. I wish he was dreaming about lasagna. Looking like a mop. Oh. It's been so long, Morgan, to look alive. Am I really that boring? No, Garfield. I'm sorry you felt that way. I've been practicing my music. Am I able to give Garfield lasagna? I don't know if I've unlocked lasagna yet. No, I don't think I have. What a shame. I would love to give Garfield some lasagna right now. Garfield's got a little musical edge to him. I gave him a panini. Uh, he loves paninis. Not as much as he loves chili prawns, though. Yeah, if he doesn't like lasagna, he's an imposter. We accept this. Emily's here. Okay, it's a stomach ache. This is easy. You don't even need to ask. I know what you, what's ailing you. That really helped. I feel a lot better. You know the one Larry King tweet? That's like... Or was it Le Larry King? The guy from Curb Your Enthusiasm. I hope that's his name, Larry King. Otherwise, I'm gonna be embarrassed. But, like, he made, he made a tweet that was like, not only does Pepto-Bismol help, but it tastes good. Hashtag my two cents. And, like... <laughs> The thing that makes that tweet hysterical, it's already kind of a funny tweet. Okay, it's Larry David. My bad, my bad. Larry David. The thing that makes the Larry David tweet so funny is the fact that on interviews, he like people have t like said that Larry David has like an interpreter like tweet things out for him. Larry David does not do his own tweeting. He gives his tweets to other people to tweet out, but he doesn't, like, check Twitter. Which, I will say, is probably the most genius use of the website. Just have someone else do it for you. But, that means he told someone, Yeah, uh, can you go on my Twitter real quick and tweet out that I think Pepto-Bismol tastes good? Put hashtag my two cents at the end. I always follow my heart. It has yet to lead me astray. That tweet went through multiple people. Larry King? No, it was Larry King. Right? Who the f- Who is the guy from Curb Your Enthusiasm? <laughs> Are we sure it was Larry David or Larry King? Hold on, I'm looking this up. Yeah, it's Larry David. Larry David. But what did, What about Larry King? What did Larry King do? Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. It was Larry King. I was getting these two. God, this is so confusing. They're both, like, old white dudes. They also kind of got, like, the same hair going on. That's why I got, like, confused. It was Larry King. It was Larry King who tweeted that. Although, although Larry David is going more bald in the front. Larry King's not as balded. But it was Larry King. Wait, Larry King is bi? Who is Sean King? Oh no, that's a... That's a woman. I didn't know Sean could be a woman's name. I thought Larry King was gay for a second. Larry King is diseased? Oh my god, you're right! He died, like, in January! Oh my god. <laughs> this is, like, the stupidest I've been on stream. <laughs> this is the most idiotic conversation I've had. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know celebrities. <laughs> Um, sorry to to Larry King. I'm sure you were a great guy. Really I'm, so, I'm sorry that I forgot you died. I mean, he was 87. He had he had a pretty good he had a pretty good life. Also, hi, welcome. God, this really is like a car crash stream right now. Jesus Christ. My name's Mario. I'm Hi Mario. Hi Super game. Mario from Super Mario Video Games. I'd like to eat some fruit. Well, you're definitely not based on Super Show Mario then. Cause Super Show Mario would be like, hey, give me a pasta meal. You're in good company there. Uh yeah, let's buy some fruits. Oh, do I even have fruits? I have grapefruit. Also, no, I'm not gonna- I, I'm not gonna make, uh, people from chat unless, like, I'm good friends with them. I'm sorry. Um... Does- is grapefruit the only fruit I have? Gotta buy at least one of everything? I don't think I'm gonna do that. Why would I do that? That would just be a lot of money. Have a nice day. Yeah, that's in stock. I, I buy the daily specials. Do I even have salads unlocked? Oh, I do. You could give a Super Mario salad. Welcome. Oh, that's not fruit. That's veggies. Okay, we'll give him the grapefruit, and then we'll give him the salad. Mario's getting his healthy diet in. Salad is so money. It's true to real life. It's absolutely true to real life. He likes the grapefruit, he hates salad. My ideal life I mean, I can't imagine Super Mario would be a big salad fan. He's too lost in the pasta sauce. <laughs> Is that you, Morgan's look alike? I can't recall the last time we talked. Hey, I, I dislike you, Baldy. I'd like some new clothes. All right, we have to give Baldy like the worst outfit. That might be it. The baby chick outfit might. Be no, no, we can't. I refuse. 
He's getting the baby chick outfit. I'm not- I'm not putting the cat suit on Baldi. He doesn't like- Why is Baldi a girl? When did I make Baldi a woman? I don't like the idea of Baldi being the gay boy of the island. People who are late really get on my nerve. Just leave earlier, dude. <laughs> oh my god, you could... Ah. Uh... I like a new hat. Oh, we gotta give Garfield a good hat. I don't even want to like acknowledge Baldy right now. Um, give him a nice straw hat. Give Garfield a nice straw hat. Yeah, he likes it. I know what Garfield likes. Um. I can't- I can't fit the full phrase. Feed me, love me. But like his- like the Garfield phrase is like, feed me, love me, but don't leave me. That's the full phrase. Oh my god, we could give Garfield a cat. That would be fucked. But it'd be really funny. I'm like obsessed with that phrase, like, feed me, love me, but don't leave me. Garfield doesn't have anyone in his life except John and Odie, so he's saying that specifically to John. Wow, he is just not- Garfield is not getting along with anyone right now. <laughs> Me and Baldi are like, this guy sucks, but I'm also his best friend. I gotta be nicer to Garfield, I like Garfield, I think he's a funny cat. I've probably watched more Garfield and Friends than most people. I don't know why, but sometimes I'll just, like, go through a phase where I watch, like, a shit ton of, like, Garfield and Friends on, like, YouTube. I want to be friends with Bayonetta. What should I do to get along with her? Ooh. I don't know if you have a chance with Bayonetta, to be honest, Eugene. I think, like, Bayonetta is, like, on a different level than you, Eugene. Thanks for the advice. I'll go talk to her right uh, now. if I played more of the DKC games. Bayonetta is not a god, but she's a very strong woman. Yeah, Bayonetta would stomp him into a brown carpet stain. She's a witch. She's not a god. I mean, I guess if you're an atheist, you probably don't believe in witchcraft either. Yeah, she's not a god, but she could kill god. We're friends now, thanks to you. Here, I want you to have this. Good pal. The other day, Bayonetta gave me some chattery teeth. Alright, so... It's been so long, Morgan's look alive. Am I really that boring? Hi, so. I need to sneeze, but it won't come out. I gave him, like, the shittiest, smallest nose in the world. Ah. So guilt-tripping. It's, it's realistic to the game. Yeah. Darn, I lost it. I hope that the full Your Turn to Die Chapter 3 comes out at some point. Because I streamed the first two chapters of Your Turn to Die. I would love to stream the rest of Your Turn to Die. It does give you a recap, I think, when you start a new chapter also. 
So, like, everyone who wasn't there in, like, 2019 for my original Your Turn to Die streams, you, you would probably be fine. I was gonna... But you could, al you could always watch my old VODs of it. I have that on my stream archive. He's going to play Dong and Rampa. I think, like, Your Turn to Die is considerably, like, more well-written than Dong and Rampa was. I mean, no offense to the Dong and heads in the crowd, but... Your Turn to Die, I felt, was, like, much better written. I'd like some new clothes. <laughs> new clothes, new clothes. Um, what, clo what clothes are we giving Ibaris? Give you something good? I think this is pretty good for you. I do have the lab coat. I have that. I could- I could give it to Atticus. I don't put much stock in trends. I try to just, you know, do my own thing. I agree. Better to do my own thing. What? Tony Zaret is in love?! What?! Who is Tony Zaret in love with?! <laughs> He's in love with flushed emoji. Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I have got to tell her. Oh my that really is just like a real Tony Zaret bit. Be romantic. Where should I tell her? <laughs> oh, okay. Tony Zaret wants sex. Well, it would be it would be censored out if it was Tony Zaret. If your girlfriend is flushed emoji. Oh my god! Like someone, I wish like someone watching me was like a fucking like Tony Zaret, uh, like su uh, like Patreon supporter. Because, like, if you paid enough money on Patreon, you could just, like, make him do that bit. I should do that one of these days. Um, what's the funniest place Tony Zaret could confess at? Like, out of these six locations, what do you guys think is, like, the most close to, like, a Tony Zaret bit? The beach? Beach. All right. Should I get changed first? <laughs> At the beach, but green screen. I don't think you have any other outfit, okay. Tony Zara. I'll get ready and then do it. Oh man, are we gonna see romance? Are we gonna see sparks fly? My love for you is deeper than the ocean. Will you be my beautiful mermaid? <laughs> the couple of the island! Tony Zaret and flushed emoji! <laughs> oh my god. Asking out the flushed emoji? Oh, uh, we gotta make him, like, do a song about it. Here, I want you to have this. Sorry, Joey.
I'm gonna try and make this as close as I can to a Tony Zeret bit. Can I put in the Munions? <laughs> yeah, we have to insert the Munions into the song. hard to come up with lyrics. I'm so bad at coming up with these Tamadachi songs. This is why I never do these on stream. This water bottle is empty. I, I raised it. I, I put it by my lips. There's nothing there. I'm not just gonna make the code name Steam theme song. Alright, this is this is when you when 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 GF is flushed emoji. My girlfriend is the flushed emoji. <laughs> she made the face of me when the off came out. Her cheeks always wet because she's so flushed. We need to have a best act. So uh, what do we think you are? <laughs> you take it. Take a plus energy. It's like a little face that. <laughs> he couldn't even get Why another answer there. Face, or should you get up to more? <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> really good. Was Bort there? Good for I Bort. wonder if Flush ever dreams about me. I hope so. Oh my god, he's talking about dream, dream, the flushed emoji dreaming about him. Get high and think of me. Let's play with Joey. Joey's had a, Joey's had one hell of a Why day. Don't you please play with me. Here's your first Islander fact. <laughs> Tony Zarad and Hackkid are dating. What the fuck? Hackkid is six. It's Why would you ask me this? False. Next up, your second Islander fact. Game? Dr. Phil and Dicko have the same birthday. No. The correct answer is false. 
And finally, yeah, why can the game Robin. ask that? Atticus and Robin are the same level. Probably? The correct answer is... Two. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. Congratulations. That was a bit odd. I don't know why the game can generate that question. <laughs> what should I say when I feel down? Well... I know what Joey's saying right now. Eaten by an animal. I'm sorry, Joey. I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> it was too easy. People getting after me doesn't help me move faster. It just slows me down. Who is Joey friends with? Uh, just Madeline currently. Madeline from Celeste. We should make a me. We've been doing the stream for like over an hour. We somehow haven't added a me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. You should add Sephiroth. I haven't streamed Final Fantasy 7 yet. Maybe when, maybe if I when I inevitably stream Final Fantasy 7. It is the year of Sephiroth. Travis touchdown. Scott the Waz. See, Scott the Waz could actually work because like there's an old clip. I think it's funny to tell this story again. Um, there's an old clip of me divulging. Uh Finn does not like Scott the Waz. Our our friend Finn does not like Scott the Waz, and the reason he doesn't like Scott the Waz is because for a while, like, Finn would just browse the Yaoi boards of 4chan, and on the Yaoi boards of 4chan, like, people had very sensual feelings about Scott the Waz. I don't know why Finn is on the Yaoi boards. I'm not adding Seth Everman and Bowser. I can't. Scott the Waz is like fine. I I, I think I, I I like his videos. But they're definitely not for everyone, I don't think. No, don't don't take offense to this. Don't take offense to this. Um Yeah, I get that. I get that. It's kind of like, kind of like game, angry video game nerd. Um, who should we add? I could do Travis Touchdown. Does anyone have a good Travis Touchdown me from No More Heroes? Because I did the No More Heroes stream. <laughs> Michael Stevens. <laughs> I'm a big Vsauce fan. How old is Michael Stevens? Isn't he like in his 40s now? Or is he still like late 30s? Okay, he's 35. I thought he was older. For some reason. Okay, yeah, he's 35. Why did I think like Michael Stevens was like way older? Total views like 2 billion. He needs more. I'm a big- I'm a big Vsauce fan. Um, I remember, like, when he made, like, Mindfield, uh, his YouTube premium show free, I just, like, binged that. And, like, I think that's a fantastic YouTube show. Yeah, I would have to figure out what to do with the, uh, glasses and hair. I am Waz from funny YouTube videos. That would be like if Tony Zaret did a Scott the Waz bit. All right, we can add, we can add Travis Touchdown. Who votes we add in Michael Stevens? 
We already have Tony Zaret. Michael Michael Stevens, I respect him. We're taking votes in chat. Um, the chin. That's like a more rounded chin, I think. I can't tell. I'm not very good at interpreting these. What did Ibr what about Ibris? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just I'll just have to become more of a Vsauce shell. Oh, he just clipped Finn's secret again. I mean, the other clip already exists. It doesn't matter if there's a second clip of. Also, yeah, I've se I I I I have the Michael Stevens me open. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to. Don't uh, you don't have to keep sending the uh, link. It's kind of closest equivalent. It's Travis Touchdown's hair. even see what eyes he has. So hard to see what's going on with Travis Touchdown's deal. Michael Stevens is gonna be way easier to make. I like the tags also. Host, Scientist, Vsauce, YouTube. Next page. Oh god. The moe phase phrase. Probably not here. Second row. Oh, okay. Page four, bottom left. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's just Travis Touchdown's eyes. And then we gotta give him the shades. Tell me, what the hell is going on? This is the official, this is the official Travis touchdown me. Um, he's like relatively tall, right? How tall is Travis touchdown? I'm gonna also have to find out how tall Vsauce is. How tall is Travis touchdown? He's 27 in No More Heroes 1. Oh my god, he's gonna be 39 in No More Heroes 3. <laughs> why is- why does he get so old? What the hell? Is 39 the Miku number? Yeah, I can't, I, I can, uh, he has like, uh, it has his age, but it doesn't have his height. He's like relatively tall, right? <laughs> no, Miku's not 39, she's like 16, right? Oh, 39 is pronounced like Miku, ooh, interesting.
I'm gonna assume, like, Travis Touchdown is pretty tall, pretty thin. Travis. Touchdown. Travis. Yeah, it's almost Pi Day. Hope you're all excited for Pi I have, like, an old, like, Pi Day shirt from, like, middle school that still fits me because I have not grown since middle school. I want you to know that I'm the same height I was when I was in, like, sixth grade. It doesn't have a birthday for him, either. What's the most, like, fucked up birthday I can give Travis Touchdown? Don't say 6'9". Oh, good. No More Heroes released December 6th. That's probably easiest. And then, like, I don't know. I've only played No More Heroes 1, so I'll make them 27. I'm Travis Touch. I'm Travis. I'm Travis Touch. I'm Travis Touchdown. My nickname. I'm Travis. I'm Travis. I'm Travis Touch. I'm Travis Touchdown. 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 I'm Travis. All right, what 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 do you guys think like Travis is like? He's got to be pretty quick on his feet. I also don't think he's a polite guy at all. Pretty varied. Uh like relaxed and very quirky. But like what are you guys thinking? Because there's definitely bigger No More Heroes heads in my chat. Very direct. Got that sh tiger. Pretty quick. relaxed. Varied. <laughs> Some people fuck at funerals. And quirky. Outgoing entertainer. Sure. That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard. Oh shit, before we add Vsauce, who does Finn want to be friends with? Where have you been, Morgan's lookalike? I can't believe it's you. I want to be friends with Robin. Ooh. What should I do to get along with her? Travis Clown. Thanks for the advice. I'll go talk to her right now. Our friend of Robin. Travis Clown down. It worked. We are friends now thanks to you. Yeah, my friend group that's in this game, they're just like all becoming friends with each other. I want you to have this. Can I fucking like dump Reggie Minch already? I'm so tired of being in a relationship with Reggie Minch. I don't like I don't want to be with him. All right, let's add Vsauce. Let's add Michael Stevens. Tell Reggie Minch you don't like him. I've tried. I've tried. Lord, I've tried. This is not that long. At least it doesn't look like that. Wait, what thing did you post that got 6k likes? Can you tell the randos to follow my Twitch? Can you just like can you just like say follow follow Morgan on Twitch on your tweet? <laughs> I love I love whoring myself out on posts that aren't my own. Yeah, I don't 
don't think- I think he's got like a normal sized head. Nah, he's got like a actual beard. Yeah, I got the me open, don't worry. Hyphen. Hyphen. <gasps> I be I believe you, don't worry. I just think it's like I just think it's a very funny testimonial that like the reason you don't like the reason at least you didn't like Scott the Waz was because you browsed the Yaoi board of 4chan and like people on there were thirsty for him. No, I, just, I don't think these are your eyebrows. How do I get these eyebrows? I'm not good with the eyebrows. Also, no, Finn is not Finnish. Finn is, Finn is Swedish. It's more like this, right? Yeah, it's Finn's curse to be Swedish. His eyebrows are higher up. Oh yeah, it's kind of like hard to tell. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay, it didn't delete V- I got scared for a second. I thought they were deleting Michael. Oh yeah, he has- It's easier to tell in actual pictures of him that he has the blue eyes, but in the me pictures, like, I can barely tell. Probably because these me pictures are very small. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. What if you were deleted from existence? And then the scary music plays. I think he made a video like that, but it was like, instead of getting deleted. <laughs> also, no problem, Finn, no problem. You're usually in bed by now. Thanks for, thanks for being here. He's got a, he's got a little wrinkles. He's he's not like super wrinkly, but he's getting older. He's getting older. <laughs> Bye, Finn. Michael. See you around. Steven. Michael Stevens, V sauce. In his birthday is January 23rd. Ah, shit, we missed his birthday. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. What if you were to live on Jupiter? Fuck, now I want to watch like a shit ton of Vsauce now. I might have to rewatch Minefield. Because that was like a really good show. I'm Michael Steven. I'm Michael Stevens. I feel like he's got a little I'm higher Steven. voice than I'm that. Michael Stevens. I'm, I'm Michael Stevens. My he's like, hey, Vsauce. My birthday is January 20. I'm Michael Stevens. I'm Michael Stevens. I'm Michael Stevens. My nickname is I'm Michael Stevens. I feel like he talks a little pretty quick. My birthday is January 20. I'm Michael Stevens. I'm Michael Stevens. My nickname is Sock. I'm Michael Stevens. I'm Michael Stevens. 
My nickname is Tsong. I'm Michael Stevens. I'm Michael Stevens. I'm Michael Stevens. My nickname is Tsong. I'm Michael Stevens. Alright, what are we thinking on Vsauce's personality? What are, you, what are your guys' like evaluations of the personality of Vsauce? Yeah, probably a brainiac. I think he's quirky. Yeah, he's a little quirky from his videos. The scariest Vsauce um, image is the one where he's shirtless and he's just like in an alley. I wonder if I have that image saved. Hold on. It's like a very scary image of him. Let me see if I can find it on my computer. Hopefully this doesn't just like crash OBS. I think I have to start deleting files on my computer again because it's been like weirdly slow lately. No, not the one I've been in my bathtub. I don't doubt that that one's real though. He's definitely done like a bathtub thing. This one. This is the scary Vsauce image. This one where he's just, like, shirtless in an alleyway. <laughs> Last thing you see before you die, that's him going in for the kill. Slightly more direct than polite. Um, pretty quick. say he's super expressive from what i've from what i remember of watching vsauce videos he's not super expressive i mean he can move he can move his eyebrows a lot but i wouldn't say he's like oh he's so varied i'd say he's probably like right down the middle um attitude that that's also hard to determine because he talks about very s serious subject matter but i feel like he does it in a pretty relaxed like tone that's like very understandable to a lot of people and also he seems to be pretty like sociable like if, if you like talk to vsauce in real life you'd probably have a good time four that works for me um and he's he's pretty damn quirky I'd say very quirky. Confident designer. Not quite confident brainiac, but eh, it works. Oh, I should have given him a favorite color. What is Vsauce Michael's favorite color? I mean, this me has his favorite color is brown. Has he ever gone on record saying that? You think I can just go on Google and look up Vsauce Michael's favorite color? Oh! There's a- there's a Reddit AMA transcript. He said his favorite color is yellow. Okay, that's his color. Vsauce favorite color, yellow, confirmed. By a Reddit AMA transcription. I never took Vsauce Michael as a yellow guy. But there we go. I'm still working on me. I get a little closer to perfection every day. Yeah, you gotta you gotta work on yourself, Vsauce Michael. While you're working on yourself, have some white bread. If we have famous celebrity Vsauce Michael on our island, and the first thing I do is give him white bread. I know how to treat him. If you ever want to collab Vsauce Michael, I'll I'll give you some white bread at my house. <laughs> Big Beef. I forgot to give Big, Big Beef the pompadour. All hail the macaron. All huh? hail the macaron. All hail the macaron. Oh, this is scary. All hail the macaron. Also, I do have All to give Finn a middle macaron. part. And I think Ibaris wanted me to change his hair, too. All hail the macaron. All hail the macaron. I have a All dark confession. Macaron. I've never had a macaron before. Yeah. 
Why is Eugene submitting to an idol? Well, it's a dream. It it's all a dream. I mean, you could have the you could have the macaron you dreamed up, Big Beef. Although I don't know if that's enough substance for you. You're a big guy. I mean, he really liked it. Here, I want you to have this. Hair color spray. Ooh, we're gonna have to give that to like battle him. Have some tempura. If you hate coconut, don't bother with macaroons. I've never had coconut either. Um, you guys have to keep in mind that when I was a child, I was a very picky child. So there's still, like, a lot of food I haven't tried. But I'd like to. <laughs> but also I get, like, sh I get, like cold feet when I'm ordering from restaurants and I always order the same thing because I'm like well what if I don't like this thing then like it's a waste of money you know that's always that's always my thought such big shots are usually kidding themselves yeah I feel you Sebastian literally that's how I feel How's it going? It's going pretty good. I heard that Madeline wants to be friends. I'll be friends with Madeline from Celeste. I'll go scope things out. <laughs> I should also say for the record, if you're like still a picky eater, that's like totally fine. Like, some people have very few things they actually like to eat, and that's okay. I would like to expand my taste, though. I think that would be good for me. We are friends now. <laughs> Celeste, the unlikely. Yeah, you could make that into, like, a mod. Here, I want you to have oh god, could you imagine a Celeste mod that just, like, replaces Madeline with Lester, the unlikely? I'm so busy, I don't have time to be bored. Which is it? That's literally how I am, though, now. Like, I've been so busy lately with, like, school and streaming that, like, I don't have a lot of time to myself. Except, like, really late at night. By the way, I should mention, I, I slept like shit last night. I went to bed so late. My insomnia was terrible. <laughs> but I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that works. Hi, Maya Faye. Hi, Maya Faye. I'm Maya Faye. I don't follow the latest trends. I said them. What should I say when I feel down? Ooh. Um. What would Maya, Maya Faye say when she's feeling down? Yeah, Maya Faye is good. She's funny. She's nice. I need to play more Ace Attorney. At some point during this year, I will stream the third Ace Attorney game. Oh no! That's like spoilers! I don't know if I should do that. Sebastian just posted a spoiler. <laughs> if you if you haven't watched Ace Attorney yet, don't look at what Sebastian said if you weren't paying attention. Yeah, I'll put I'm hungry. Well, still, it's the implication of it all. It's the implication. This is the, this is the face she makes when she's hungry. hungry. Nothing happens. I like films that don't make me think too hard. I'm just being honest. That's like, that's in character. 
That's in character from my FA. She watches like samurai shows. What's happening? I'd like a really unique hat. A really unique hat. It's pretty unique. <laughs> Is this unique enough? Seems so. <laughs> You're right. She got it by Wii U to support Splatoon, the original release. God, it's still crazy to me that Splatoon 3 is a thing. I honestly didn't think, like, Splatoon 3 was gonna happen on the Switch. I thought Splatoon 3 was gonna be, like, a distant future thing. After all, everyone deserves a happy life. Yeah, same. I thought, like, spin-off was the next logical step, but... Splatoon 3. We'll see if I'm, like, over my Splatoon burnout by then. Because there's a reason I haven't streamed Splatoon 2 in a while. Where have you been, Morgan's with life? I can't believe it's you. I miss Pauline. I'd like to have a disposable camera. I need to express myself. Sure. What should I take a photo of? Oh my god, you're right. Do it someone we know. It's something artsy is not super interesting, usually. Oh god, our zest. Developers of Balan Wonderworld, everyone. Oh my god, what are you doing to them? <laughs> what are you doing to them? Carfield and Audio are getting carried away. <laughs> Harrowing footage. Harrowing footage. Save. <laughs> I call it fateful encounter. What? <laughs> fateful encounter? I guess, I, that's like I guess it's like really deep, the fateful encounter of being blown away in bubbles. Man, I don't know about this one, Miss Pauling. <laughs> fateful encounter with fucking bubbles. Um, three out of, three out of ten. I thought you'd get what I was going for. You must not have an eye for art. Wow. Here, I want you <laughs> she to was like, your eye for art sucks. And your sucks. Hair color spray, though. My brain is stuffed full of all kinds of trivia. Star is streaming Undertale again. How much... How much more does she have in Undertale? I should just like barge into her room and say, hey, how like far are you in Undertale? This is like her fifth Undertale stream. <laughs> oh god, is Joey seeing Dick Nose? No, wait, that's King Madio. No, not Stir. Not Stir. I do like Undertale too. I'm an Undertale fan. I'm just like, I only did like three streams of Undertale, and that covered the pacifist route and the No Mercy run. So like, I, I don't know how much more Emily has, or Star has. What's happening? What should I say when I'm mad? Joey, what would you say when you're mad? I'm giving you the freedom, Joey. What, what do you say when you're mad?
as we may be moving to TF2 soon. The Mies are starting to fall asleep. That's the point of the night where it's like, okay, this is like a dead game. This is like a game where nothing happens. Although, before we end it off, we have to do a segment of quirky questions. We gotta. It's required. You gotta give us your most scathing review, Joey. <laughs> oh, I can't fit all that. Kinda cringe. <laughs> Kinda cringe. <laughs> what is this hat Joey's wearing also? It's easier to cope on Friday because you're so close to having a break. Cope. What's up, Bayonetta? Is that you, Morgan's look alike? I can't recall the last time we talked. I'm sorry, Miss Bayonetta. I'd like some new clothes. New clothes. Ooh, what's like a good bayonet outfit? I feel like a lot of these are too plain, right? <laughs> she really is. It's it's a little I think this is a little too juvenile for Bayonetta, but it's the best I've got. Oh she loves it. Okay, that was a successful operation. I think we also gotta give her Wii U because that's where Bayonetta 2 was exclusively until the Switch came out. But they never added a switch to Tomodachi Life, so you're just gonna have to live with the fact that this is Wii U. I wonder how well Bayonetta 2 sold on Switch. Because I remember it never sold super well on Wii U. Partially because it was an incredibly niche game on a console three people owned. Hi, I'm one of those three people. Sometimes I get my fortune told, but I only take the good parts to heart. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold Bayonetta. What does Jen want? Am I dreaming? Is it really you? I thought you'd forgotten about me. That is the saddest thing you could have said to me. I'm hungry. I think I have to give Jen a hug now. Um. The y Yakitori? Like Yakitori. Alright, alright. Before we end it off. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do Tomodachi Quest. Absolutely fucking not. Before we end it off, you know what time it is. Actually, I should save, because Quirky Questions doesn't really matter that much, but I should save just so we don't lose literally all our progress from tonight. Tomodachi Quest is, like, not fun. Alright, quirky questions. Who's it gonna be? It's time for some Marina, Vsauce, Michael, Finn, um, King Mario, Dementio, and Bort. Alright, nothing, nothing too fucked up. Although, these are all adults, so I guess you could get a little sexual. Who's good at science? Yeah, we gotta- we gotta press Vsauce Michael. Although, F Finn and Vsauce Michael are real people, so probably not. Don't get, like, sexual. Unless it's, like, funny. If it's, like, funny sexual, like, who likes tr trying cocks or whatever? That's a little funny. 
Now for the next question. Now, evil questions like who likes killing is fine. Yeah, Dementio's a scientist. Apparently, Vsauce is- it's not his real passion. Vsauce is a performance artist. Who <laughs> loves Scott the Waz? Also, hello. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, let's see if we can press- let's see if Finn Scott loves the Scott the Waz. Oh, Marina and King Mario love Scott the Waz. Finn remains silent. I, I could see Marina liking Scott the Waz. King Mario, I don't know- I, I don't know how- it, like... King Mario is just kind of an orb. Finally, your last question. All right. Pearl would like Scott the Waz. Yeah, Pearl showed Marina Scott the Waz. Who's who? Uh, a left from right, top to bottom. Uh, Marina, Vsauce, Michael, my friend Finn, uh, King Mario from Pokemon Snakewood, Dementio, and Bort, who's a guy I made up. Who's afraid of condoms? Who hides pirate treasure in their apartment? <laughs> I like that one. I like the pirate treasure one. It's very easy to bait me with pirate questions. If you guys just put in, like, pirate questions, like, I'll do it every time. Dementio fucking loves pirate treasure. <laughs> Who's afraid of their own scream? That's a pretty good one. I should have done that one. Ah, the pirate treasure one was really good. Let's keep going. Um, so... My friend Audio. Um, Miss Pauling. Krungus. Pearl from Off the Hook. Marie from the Squid Sisters. And Joey. My friend Joey. Alright, what are your questions? I, I, this is this is the part of the stream I leave to viewer interaction. Who loves flushed emoji? Who has no interest in having sex? Who loves Woomy? This is a hard one. Someone's got to give me like a big hit. Who loves you? That's so kind. I have to do that one. Who loves you? Pearl loves me. Smiles. Joey Joey likes me. He's he's my friend. Who loves pirates? Fuck! I should have done that one. Should have done that one. I was too busy stroking my ego. The pirates one was so good. I didn't even realize Travis Touchdown is the one asking these questions. Who can't stand Moe? Who can't stand pirates? Who can't stand Arlo? <laughs> Are we starting drama with YouTube Muppet Arlo? Who thinks they're better than pirates? We're being very mean to pirates right now. You guys think... <laughs> You guys are being so mean to pirates. I'm gonna go with the Arlo one, because I think it'd be really funny if someone on this island started drama with Arlo. Yeah, we can't do pirate hate. Like, any other pirate question is fine. <laughs> you know what? Like, out of everyone here, like, out of all my friends, I think, like, Charlotte... Uh, not Charlotte. I Ibaris is talking about Charlotte. I think Audio is probably the one who would like Arlo the least. <laughs> We're starting- we're starting drama with Arlo. I don't even dislike Arlo. I think he's a fine Nintendo YouTuber. I have no pr I have no issue with Arlo. It's just, like, very funny because he's just, like, a Muppet guy. Which is probably the funniest, like, YouTuber Sona you could have. Whose greatest weakness is pirates. Absolutely. There we go, there's a pirate question. Krungus and Joey are very weak to pirates. They love pirates. Who's <laughs> crazy? 
<laughs> His weakness is Pirate Arlo. <laughs> Whose greatest weakness is the Irish? <laughs> Thanks for playing. See you next time. Alright, we can't we can't keep doing pirate questions. I'm putting a stop to the pirate questions. It's time for Because if we just do okay. So Justin Dance of the Just Dance Corporation, Dr. Phil, Travis Touchdown, Garfield, Madeline, and me! I'm here! I don't even have, like, glasses anymore. Also, I do have Hat Kid in there. Hat Kid is actually already on this island. She hasn't showed up in Quirky Questions yet, though. Who can't sleep without anime. Who hides condoms in their apartment. I kind of want to catch someone on the anime question. I kind of do want to catch someone on the anime question. Can't sleep without Dr. Phil definitely <laughs> does. <laughs> this is perfect. This is perfect. Travis Touchdown is so enthusiastic about anime. Oh my god. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. Oh my god. Madeline and Dr. Phil are ashamed of their anime addiction. Garfield's kind of indifferent. He's like, yeah, I like anime. So what? Yeah, we could put an Irish joke in there. Garfield is a weeb. Who is bisexual? That could be an interesting question. I wouldn't be able to answer that. If that question went to me, I'd like... It wouldn't... I, I'm not... Now for the next question. Okay, next question. Justin dances discontent. He's like, whatever. I'll say, hell yeah. Nope, no pirate questions. I told you there's no pirate questions this time. Who has a giant collection of SpongeBob shit? Who needs dancing to be happy? Who wants a life full of Just Dance? Who wants a life full of numbers? We got a couple of dancing questions, because Just Dan Justin Dance is here. Um, hmm. I do like the SpongeBob question. Who needs ketamine to be happy? <laughs> life full of making poop. Who wants a life full of women? Who wants a life full of Yago? Guys are making this hard. We need, like, some insane, like, these are all pretty good. Oh, Yoga, who has a giant collection of Garfield merch. I wish I did. I wish I, I wish I had, like, the Garfield telephone. You guys seen the Garfield telephone? I wish I had that. Giant collection. Oh, God, the Lola Bunny one. I have to do that one because that's the scariest one. That's the scariest one. Who has a giant collection of Lola Bunny? Me. Guess what I'm doing tonight, X! Oh no, wait, it was C. <laughs> oh my god. Justin! Yeah, don't you don't you guys wanna come see my Lola Bunny collection? <laughs> Justin isn't ashamed. I, like, like, would we even be surprised that, like, Travis touched down as a furry? Is that, like, a surprising thing at all? I guess I am now. I have no choice in the matter. Tomodachi Life. Tomodachi Life assigned me. a uh, furry. Do I have the... I think I have this, the 4chan post. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Who 
can't stand furries. <laughs> We're gonna start some drama with the furry fandom. I don't think I have it saved, but you guys know the one 4chan post. Hold on, I'll send it in chat since I can't get it on screen. Here it is. Hopefully this link works. Oh, Sebastian sent it too. Also, yeah, I, I checked Discord, don't worry. If you're asking for an answer, I'm pretty sure to. But I won't say what I mean. Reverse image search. Zero results found. Alright. Finally, your last question. Alright, this is this is a new series of questions. Remember, you guys gotta make this count because after quirky questions we're done with Tamadachi for the night and I'm switching over to TF2. What are you guys thinking? Who can't stop thinking about the Irish? Who can't stop thinking of lasagna? Ooh. That's a good question for Garfield. I think, like, if I had to catch Garfield and make sure he's not an imposter, that'd be a good question. Who can't stop thinking about Ireland? I like that one, too. I feel like Ireland is stronger than Irish. I don't want to do the Ireland one. Who can't stop thinking about Ireland? Me. Oh my god. Garfield, Travis, Touchdown, and Dr. Phil. These guys really want to go to Ireland. I can see Garfield being Irish. Now, what's the other Lolo Bunny thing you were thinking of? I think that's the same guy. Wasn't that confirmed to be the same guy? That picture? Like, that guy is on Twitter now. And he has, like, a wife. And the wife is, like, okay with him being, like, a huge Lolo Bunny fan. Yeah, it's the same guy. <laughs> Which is very- it's very funny, because, like... <laughs> he posted that on 4chan and it had like very ominous vibes but like from what I've seen on Twitter he seems like kind of a chill dude it's time for some quirky questions okay so Finn my friend Finn Travis touchdown again um Krungus Nikki from swap note uh star from starry tees at twitch.tv and Badalyn. Which is an understatement. I suppose you're right. Who hides fursuits in their apartment? Who hides anime in their apartment? Oh, we did the an we did anime. I want to figure out who's who's the furry here. But like a fursuit implies like dedication. Like a fursuit is like. You know, like, you're, you're like, super into being a furry. Like, you're okay with, like, dressing up as a furry in public. Who hides fursuit in their apartment? Which is fine. Me. You know, I make, I'm open about pretty much anything. I'm gonna have to talk to Star about that. Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back.
All right, she's denying all proof, but we we have the evidence. We have the evidence. All right, next question. Now for the next question. Also, see you, Oak Toaster. Thanks for hanging out. All right, what's the next question? What are you guys thinking of asking? Yeah, was, she was streaming and I interrupted her stream because I thought it'd be funny. And I was right. That's a life full of horse tranquilizers. <laughs> Whose favorite hobby is lunch? Hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. I feel like horse tranquilizers is just like specific enough. Oh, I can't fit the whole thing. That's fine. Who wants a life full of horse tranquilizers? Hey. All right, these four are fucking demented. They would love to see a horse get tranquilized. <laughs> yeah, just a big lunch fan. So, Finn, Travis Touchdown, Nikki from Swap Note, and Star. And finally, your last question. All right, final, final question. Make it good. I gotta be honest, I skip out on lunch a lot. I usually have, like, brunch. I think I said in the past that I'm not a brunch head, but these days I am. So I'm sorry for lying. Who would rather be a wolf? Go work. <laughs> yeah, he would- he would just, like, fucking die from all those horse tranquilizers. Who would rather be the Joker? I like the Joker question. But- but just so you know, like, Joker- Joker question is, like, bait for me to, like, put the question in. But don't think that gives you room to just exclusively put the Joker in. That checks out. That checks out. Nikki from Swap Note is ashamed of wanting to be the Joker. But Star is all over it. Star would love to be the Joker. Alright. Alright. This is gonna be the final quirky questions. So, make it count. Um, we got Madeline from Celeste, Vsauce Michael, Marina, Small Salad, the motherfucker, um, Pearl from Off the Hook, and Callie. Both Pearl and Marina are here. Got all, this is like a very Splatoon-heavy group. Who often gets mistaken for a furry. I mean, in a way, isn't, like, being, like, an inkling, like, kind of, like, a soft version of being a furry? Because, like, the inklings are part human, part squids. So it's, like, halfway there, right? Whose greatest weakness is soup? Whose greatest weakness is being evil? Although I guess, like, being an inkling is, like, on the same level of being a furry as, like, a cat girl is. Because a cat girl is not really, like, a full-on cat. A cat girl is, like, you just have the ears and you have a tail. But you're not really, like, you're not much cat-like otherwise. This is science we're doing here. I'm doing it in, in honor of Vsauce Michael joining us for this stream, even though he has, like, 2 million subscribers on YouTube. Why did I say 2 million? He has like 20 million. He's got way more than that. Cat girls turn into cats? Not all of them. Do they? Oh, okay. I mean, it depends. It depends. I'm sure there's some media where cat girls can be more inherently cats. So I, gu I guess an inkling is like on a different, uh, is like upper level furry than a cat girl. With or without human ears? I like the soup one. I think I'm gonna go with soup. I've been delaying this too long. 
Suit. Wait, I did who gets mistaken for suit. What's wrong with me? I am so out of it, dudes. Apparently they all get mistaken for- You know what? That checks out. That actually checks out that all the Splatoon characters would answer to that. Because they go into the ink. That was unintentional. But it actually worked out perfectly. <laughs> I meant to put that in greatest weakness, but I put it in who gets mistaken for soup. That was a dumb Morgan moment. That's like the second, like, stupid Morgan moment this stream. The first one when, when I didn't realize Larry King was dead. Alright, next question. Make it, make it a good one. We got two more questions for the night. Oh, also audios saying the questions. Who can't stand small <laughs> I like it. I like the drama. Oh my god, small salad say self hatred. He can't stand what he's become. Madeline, on the other hand, she just fucking hates Small Salad. She's like, I, I can't stand this bastard. I hate this guy. I want him to know it. And Vsauce is like, can she just, can she just do that? Can she just like do that? Can, like, he's right there. I think Vsauce Michael is too nice to admit that he dislikes Small Salad. And I think the Off the Hook and Callie are like too famous to know who Small Salad is. I mean, I guess Michael, Vsauce Michael is pretty famous. He, he probably wouldn't know who Small Salad is. Who can't stop thinking about TF2? Who is afraid of furries? Yeah, who's got some fur phobia? <laughs> Okay, I really like the deep cut of the bye-bye man. <laughs> I was I was gonna go with the furries one, but like I gotta respect the deep cut of the bye-bye man. <laughs> Laugh at his name. You won't be laughing when he gets you. Madeline and Small Salad are afraid of the bye-bye man. <laughs> oh my god. Don't think it, don't say it. It's like Among Us. <laughs> That's gonna be in Celeste 2. Actually, they made Celeste 2, and I still haven't played it. Well, not like Celeste 2 strictly, but like a Celeste follow-up. I need to play that. Is that any good? Hating small salad causes you to fear the bye-bye, man. <laughs> oh my god. That's- that's the real reason. It wasn't the depression. It wasn't the depression. It was all about the fact that the bye-bye man otherwise was gonna get her. It's good, but it's hard. It was kind of fun. Oh, it's like impossibly hard. Oh, like chapter 9 was? Mm. That probably wouldn't be as much up my alley. I love Celeste. I think it's, like, one of the best video games ever made. That doesn't mean I'm good at it, though. I never got, like... I never did, like, the super hard, like, Chapter 9 and, like, the... Well, I've done some of the B-sides, but I've never done a C-side. The C-sides are like, fuck you. A small salad. Ooh. Yeah, that, that seems like... That seems like one of those things where that's, like, made with, like, speedrunners in mind. Alright, does anyone want to make friends? We could do one more. You know what? Since someone... Since Unboxo Man wants to make a friend, we'll do one more. We'll do one more it's session of quirky questions, and then and that'll be it. Because this has been a longer Tamadachi session. Oh, no! <laughs> Should we do it? Should we do it? <laughs> oh my god, Unboxo Man. Unboxo Man wants to set up Madeline and Small Salad. 
Yeah, Madeline's in her, like, 20s. I'm pretty sure. No! <laughs> Oh god, if she was, like, 14 climbing that mountain, that'd be fucked up. She, like, talks about drinking in the game. Do it. Yeah, Madeline's definitely an adult. Alright, I'll do a poll in chat. I'll do a poll in chat. She is, like, a munchkin. She's very short. She pre Would she be shorter than me if she was real? I'm like 5'4". I'm like a munchkin. Alright, start poll. Your average height? God. Yeah, what's the poll results gonna be? He could also get rejected. That is a possibility. If that sways your vote at all, he could just get, like, completely rejected. Also, the fucking thing hasn't showed up on my chat thing, so let me know when the poll ends. No, wait, I can view this. I can view poll management. I hope he does. Oh, yeah, 6'5", like, yeah. That's, like, Charlotte height. <laughs> Joker of height. Charlotte's, like, the tallest person I know. She's, like, 6'6". Six, six. I think I would go mad if I knew someone who was, like, 7 foot. Also, 5'9", five, not, five, is not a bad height. So, over people voted yes. I gotta... Oh my god, it was unanimous. It was a unanimous yes. Holy shit. Good idea. Then I'll have to get them together somehow. <laughs> well, let's see if Small Salad and Madeline was meant to be. Yeah, Atticus is seven foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot fucking small salad was in the poop hat. Man, Unboxo Man, you gotta be like a wingman to someone who's better than this. Small salad is like one of the worst people on this island. <gasps> oh my god! I had the best time today! Me too. Let's hang out against them. <laughs> they got together! Oh my god. Yeah, and Foxo Man just likes to see people get together. This is part of his character. <laughs> oh my god. Here, I want you to have this. This is our fault. <laughs> it is. We did this. Together. I how similar these actually are to their look alike. It's my fault too. I could have put my foot down and been like, no. <laughs> You're right. If you don't know who Unboxo Man is, by the way, Unboxo Man is my roommate. He's been my roommate many years. Um, and he goes to weddings a lot. So I think yeah, like him just wanting to go to another wedding is in character. He would do that. Alright, one more quirky questions. Wait a minute, I just realized, too, Madeline was one of the people who said she can't stand small salad. <laughs> They're literally enemies to lovers. <laughs> oh my god. It's time for some quirky questions. Madeline is Sundere! God! Alright. Reggie Minch, Ibris, Audio, Hat Kid, 
um, Pearl, Marie. I'm putting sexual questions completely off the table because Hat Kid's like six. Who is afraid of furries? Ow, fuck. Oh, I accidentally hit my knuckle into the wall. Why did I do that? Ow. Who loves TF2? Who loves mischief? Who loves torment? Okay, that's the best one. Morgan gamer moment, punching the drywall. It was, like, accidental. Like, I'm, like, situated right next to a wall, so I just, like, hit it. Who has no interest in meals? Who loves torment? Me. This checks out. This checks out. Completely. Reggie Minch loving torment? Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> that makes sense. Audio also. I think audio would answer that. Now for the next question. Um, next question. Life full of being evil. Who wants a life full of sawdust? <laughs> Who can't sleep without fursuiting? I'm a big fan of the sawdust one. I also almost, like, what am I doing right now? I almost, like, ripped off the label of my Super Mario 3D World cartridge. I gotta do the sawdust one, I think. Who wants a life full of sawdust? <laughs> Iberus, Pearl, and Hat Kid. Ah, oh, I should have done the Google Stadia one. Dude, we need a Google Stadia question. And finally, your last question. Alright. Whose favorite hobby is Google Stadia? I'm taking control of this last question. Whose favorite hobby is Google Stadia? Me. <laughs> Confirmed. Marie from the Squid Sisters, huge stadion. The stadions are no longer in trouble. Unlike consoles, Stadia doesn't take up space. Yo, Google Stadia could do like an attack ad on like those NFTs. They could be like, Google Stadia uses up less energy than an NFT. <laughs> I, I guess Google Stadia would be the only video game that survives, because it's in the cloud. Thanks for playing. See you next time. Thank you all for your questions and suggestions. Sorry if I didn't get to your question and quirky questions. It's one of those things where I had to pick and choose. Because chat is very active tonight, and I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Dementio. We'll do- we'll see Dementio friendship, and then we'll switch over to TF2. It's been so long, Morgan's look alive. Am I really that boring? You could never be boring, Dementio. I want to be friends with Baldi. Uh, uh, alright. What should I talk about to get along with her? Um... Dementio's such a schmoozer. What, what would Dementio talk about with Baldi? Oh my god, you're right, because I made Baldi a woman and now he's gay. Fuck. Oh god, can you imagine? Oh my god. Deep thoughts, deep thoughts. Thanks for the advice. I'll go talk to her right now. <laughs> Love wins? <laughs> Oh god. And Baldi's in the fucking chicken suit. There it is. They became friends. <laughs> it worked. We're friends now thanks to you.
What's the most clown-like thing I could give him? Maracas are good for making noise. Um... What do you guys think is the most clown-like thing I can give Dementio? He is like a weird little jester. He <laughs> was pretty clowny. <laughs> Bubble blower. Also see you, Garland Zone. Thanks for hanging out. You can play Super Paper Mario on Wii U Virtual Con. Really? I know they have a few Wii games on there. I didn't know Super Paper Mario was one of them. Here, I want you to have this. I heard all these sing recently and was blown away. No joke. <laughs> Oh, their relationship is already blossoming. They added so much more after the Switch was out? Really? That's odd. Uh-oh, you made a serious fucky-wacky! Time to get in the forever box! That's the voice I'd do for Dementio if I ever streamed Super Paper Mario. I should. I own it on Wii. But I never finished it for myself. I've all, I, I mean, I did Origami King already, so I don't think, like, doing the order of the Paper Mario series would be super important. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I've wanted to stream it. Do you think Tum Dementia would have been a Tumblr sexy man if it came out four or five years later? Yes. Well, maybe not four or five years later, because that would be, like, 2011, 2012. That might be a little too early, because the Tumblr sexy man craze was started by the Lunsler, which was 2012. Count Bleck is also a good candidate for the Tumblr sexy man. I think, like, Dementio, if he was a later one, yes. Um, but if it was, like, early in the sexy man thing, I think it would be Count Bleck, because you could make the argument that Count Bleck is British. And that was when, like, everyone was, like, into British people. I wouldn't say Count Bleck is British, but, like, the top hat and the monocle, someone could say he's British or something. He kind of is a one slur a little bit. Yeah, Dementia is just evil. There's me frolicking. Oh god, the idea of people shipping Mr. L and Luigi is terrifying. That's a viscerally terrifying thought. But, I hope you guys enjoyed Tamadachi for the night. I had a good time. I, I needed a little pick-me-up. Um, but we're gonna switch over to TF2 in just a second. I'm gonna take a quick BRB. Citra is crashing. That's the name of my 3DS capture card, of course. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna switch over. Um, I need to get some music playing while I take a quick break. Use the bathroom. But, yeah, thank you all for watching Tamadachi for the night. Um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna leave now, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good night. And if you keep watching for TF2, uh, stay tuned. It's gonna happen in just a second. I need to find my stream playlist of songs. Um, I don't want to play a Donkey Kong. I feel like I always play a Donkey Kong song when I go to BRB. But the, the, the DKC soundtrack is, like, legendary. <laughs> oh my god, a codename Steam for a BRB? That'd be really good. Um... I got Mario Maker, Smash Ultimate. I gotta add the Chrono Trigger OST to this playlist. I also gotta add the Pokemon XD. Play Megalovania. <laughs> I could. Theoretically, I could. I'm gonna actually leave you with Origami King music since we're on the topic of Paper Mario. I'll be right back.
so stay tuned. If the if the song ever loads. <laughs>